Hello and welcome to our third and final Remember Me gameplay video. This is at the end of episode 4 when you're fighting somebody called the Mada. She's a bit of a memory hunter as well. Um, and she's dragged you into this kind of virtual reality kind of memory remix situation which is why everybody's got this kind of white ghost. Right, this is a lot further in the game so we've got four pressions, S pressions sort of say. We've got a lot more combos. This, this is where tactics really comes into play. Okay, so we'll jump before. So basically, you'll fight them for a bit and you'll get things down. And the aim is to use the spammer to bring her out the air to do combos on her and beat her. And as you can see, the the bars aren't going down very quickly. So it's a it's a huge Japanese-style boss in a sense. I mean, this. I think it took 15, 20 minutes in the end to beat. But it, it never got boring because there was different stages, there was checkpoints in the middle. Um, and the simple fact that these different stages mean there's a, a bit of a difference. So as she goes through stages, she gets more powerful and different things are happening. So this time she's just going to throw more enemies at you. Bigger enemies, tougher enemies. They're going to come at you quicker. And you'll notice with the enemy AI is that they try to surround you. They don't give you any time. It's not like you can fight one guy and then just get away with your combos. They're slow moving, so you can do that sometimes. So as you can see, we can't actually focus on her here. So we're going to use the SM DOS, which stuns everybody in the area, and it'll bring her down from the air. And we're going to just jump in and combo her. There's that chain combo I was talking about in the first video. The chain combo takes the original combo pressing, so if it's a power one, and it makes the next one more powerful, it kind of chains it together. The further it is in the actual combo, the more powerful it is. I mean, it's like that with all the other pressings, but particularly with the, the chain pressings. You can't handle this. So as you can see, there's a cooldown. 100 like two minutes so we basically have to fight for two minutes to get our pressing back so we can then bring it down the logic bomb helps it's just give yourself a bit more breathing space take a couple out get your combos up on the other guys you won't get me that Using the Fury here just to make light work, uh, a few of them, give myself some more breathing space again. Again, more about the tactics, then I can just take this guy and work on my combos. And kill time until my powers are back. Using the SN DOS again here, bring her down. Go in and combo on her. This is the next stage of the boss fight. Every so often she'll start throwing memory blocks down on you that you have to avoid. She's very agile nilling this. She can do rolls and stuff, but only when in combat, which I find pretty bizarre. Yeah, I shouldn't maybe have stood there. Welcome back. I've missed you. Okay, so it's about here in the bus fight that I realised that I had to change my tactics up. So I opened up the combo lab and I realised I need to get these these S pressings available a lot quicker. So I'm basically making my simple X combo and I'm just using all cooldown pressings so that when I combo them together, I should be able to knock seconds and seconds off my cooldown time. So when the guys come, I'm just going to be concentrating on the X combos, just to get my cooldown timer as low as possible, and then I can focus on beating her quicker. Right, here come the guys. 
can see the time goes down pretty pretty quickly when you're using the this is the whole point of the, the combo system that you meant to think about it oh, I got my ass now and I can bring her down quickly and it's a lot quicker than just fighting for two minutes I'm even using the Cool down one here just so that I knock some seconds off it. She's back in the air. Need some health, so I'm going for the health ones. Because I'm pretty much full health. So now I'm back onto the cooldown. See if we can get that. My S pressing back quickly. It's a fairly simple combat. You don't have to put them all on that though, you can put them on a really complex one. So for instance, I could put them on a six. Six button combo. Six hit combo. And I could make them all cooldowns. So effectively, because the further in the chain you go, if you can connect with seven of them, you can... I've not tried it, but you can pretty much wipe out your full cooldown timer in a matter of seconds. Okay, this is another stage of her where I got lucky that time, but she she projects multiple images of herself, so you have to work out which is which. Great way of doing that, you need to out the way of that, but I didn't. So now, the boss fight, flying creepy crawlies are Introduced, they're actually robots. Um, and if you notice, then I didn't have enough focus. So, in order to use an S press, you need to fill up your focus meter, which is just under the LT on the, the bottom left dial. Uh, basically, you build that up by hitting people. Right, we didn't use the sense and dust to bring her down, so now we can use it to remove these other holographs of her and then focus on the. Well, now we focus on the main one. You can see the energy of her in the top right corner. It's still going down very quickly. I knew I was going to get hit by that. Just concentrating on that needed energy there, but before I was concentrating on bringing down the cooldown. You don't really need to at this phase, because you can bring her down with the spammer. need the sense and dust for this moment here otherwise you could just waste it and just spend all that time attacking holograms so it's important now that you connect with the combos and then get out in time beautiful Close to the end of this boss fight. I mean, this video has been going on for about, know, about eight minutes. This is probably half the boss fight. So I, I used rusty pieces there to get them on my side. I brought her down. Rinse and repeat. Actually, apparently not. I'm just going to go and just go to town now. Just connect them in those combos. And then I'm finishing the bus fight. And it finishes with a typical Japanese QTE. Why, why, I don't know. And you spent 20 minutes doing that. Imagine if you failed. It's fairly easy anyway. I kept this bit in for a reason because it gives you a good indication of what Remember Me is about. It's the most Japanese Western developed game I've ever played, I would say. Which is a good thing. It's, it's very wacky, full of cheesy one liners. But I like it. Case in point. Go on, Nilin. School's out, Mrs. Madame. Cheesy.